In this presentation we're going to look at two-way ANOVA and specifically what we're just going to look at really here in this is the matter of degrees of freedom okay so this is essentially for the just to discuss specifically degrees of freedom we're going to look at two possible cases of ANOVA the two-way ANOVA with no replicates and two-way ANOVA with replicates that is to say there is an interaction effect as well as the main effects okay so you have to consider that as well the interaction effect okay so uh, first off let's just sort of look consider our table here so we would have factor A okay and factor B now I am going to sort of specify factor A always as along uh, vertically aligned okay along here and what we would have is various levels of A so I'm, I hear they're numbered off so level 1, level 2, level 3, 4 and so on and down to the bottom there are R levels altogether. Okay? So there are R levels. Okay? And these are indices. Level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5. Likewise, we would have factor B and we would have uh, level 1, level 2, level 3 and so on all the way up to level C okay so we have R rows and C columns and again we we put A we uh, align A vertically along the rows and B is up here spread out across the columns okay so a lot of my subsequent notation is based on that orientation if you get me now so factor A has R levels and factor B has C levels okay so the degrees of freedom for A main effect A actually I'll just write that in the main effect degrees of freedom for the main effect A and B is R minus 1 and C minus 1 okay so R minus 1 how many rows are R minus 1 on our, on our table or how many levels or how many rows on our table and C minus 1 where C is the number of columns so just as another remark this is important the total degrees of freedom is always n minus 1 okay so if you have 12 observations altogether or something like that or 15 or whatever n your total degrees of freedom is always n minus 1 okay where n is the total number of observations now this is something to be sort of careful particularly when you have replicate measurements okay so we'll have a look at that shortly it's the total number of observations so here we have a little table here and what we have here is factor A and essentially I've just come up with some names here so we have settings here uh, low, median, uh, medium or high okay and B is, uh, I just went for temperature settings 50 degrees, 60 degrees, 40 degrees, 50 degrees, 60 degrees okay so in both cases the number of fact levels is uh, 3 so R is equal to 3 and up there C is equal to 3 okay also there are nine treatment groups okay so like for example there's a measurement here measurements here treatment groups and so on these are all the treatment groups the various combinations of the levels of A and B now there's nine treatment groups in the case where there's no replicates let's say just a very simple example the total sample size there would be 9 and the degrees of freedom therefore would be n minus 1 okay so that would be our degrees of freedom okay uh, so they just say uh, like the total like just for each of those each, each position there'll be a single measurement and so the total number of measurements will be nine and uh, therefore n is nine and n minus one is the degrees of freedom and that would be eight okay so let's just sort of look at a separate example suppose we have three replicate measurements per group let's just say for argument's sake in each of these cells we had multiple measurements let's say 100 101 and 98 in this one we had 110 109 112 and so on let's just say for argument's sake we had three replicate measurements per treatment group okay and you get likewise for all the rest of them okay so something to watch out for is that all altogether there will be actually 27 measurements altogether okay 
And in that case, the total degrees of freedom would be n minus 1, 26. Okay? 27 measurements altogether, and uh, therefore the total degrees of freedom would be n minus 1, 26. Now, in a situation like that, what would happen is we would sort of probably include an interaction effect. Okay? An interaction effect between A and B. Okay? So, uh, I'm going to sort of, I use a programming language called R, and this is the notation you would use to write that in. So I'll just use that notation there. But this is essentially the interaction effect for main effect, uh, for uh, uh, factors A and B, okay? So if you're not sure what main interaction effects are, I'm not going to discuss them here. Uh, but anyway, the degrees of freedom for interaction effects is the product of the degrees of freedom for factors A and B. Okay, this is a simple enough idea. Factors A is R minus 1 times C minus 1. Okay, so just using this example back here, uh, we have three levels uh, for both factors. So in this case, we would have 2 minus 1, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. 3 minus 1 is 2 times 2. Okay, so that's 4. The degrees of freedom for the interaction effect for A and B would be 4. Okay. So, uh, that's pretty good so far. So, there's one more point we have to make, uh, uh, sort of consider. Now, total degrees of freedom is degrees of freedom for effects. So, this is just a sort of catch all term. The main effects. plus the interaction effects if there are any okay so what we have here is two scenarios in the case where there is no interaction effects where there was a uh, single measurements uh, there would be no interaction effect so in the first case let's just sort of uh, get a new page here so I was going a bit ahead of myself so I'm going to use this example again, okay? This one here. Uh, in the first case, I'm not going to. We're going to uh, work on the basis of no replicates. So degrees of freedom here would be eight for the total degrees of freedom, and two each for the factors. So in this case, what we would have here is the no replicate case. We would have total degrees of freedom was eight n minus one. And that would be degrees of freedom for A plus degrees of freedom for B plus degrees of freedom for error. Okay, or uh, this is also called degrees of freedom for residuals. Actually, so both uh, both names are used: degrees of freedom for error, degrees of freedom for residuals. We know this to be two, and we know this to be two. So by definition. What must go in here? It must be four. Now there is a little formula that would actually give you that directly, but I think actually in reality, I think it's actually just uh, knowing this approach here is the best uh, best idea. So just to be clear, the degrees of freedom for effects is the sum of all the various effects. Uh, the, the the degrees of freedom for all uh, the main effects. Now this is clear. Just to be clear, this is the no replicates case. Okay, in the case where there is replicates, we do something slightly different. So the degrees of freedom for effects is the degrees of freedom for main effects plus degrees of freedom for interaction effects. So let's write that out, and let's use our example again where there was three replicate measurements. Okay, per treatment group. So in that case, the total degrees of freedom was 26. 27 times 9 is 27. Or sorry, 9 times 3 is 27. N minus 1 is 26. Now, degrees of freedom for A plus degrees of freedom for B plus the degrees of freedom for the interaction effect AB plus the degrees of freedom for error. Okay? So there's actually. For the degrees of freedom for effects, it's essentially what I mean is all three of these things added up. Degrees of freedom for the main effect A, degrees of freedom for the main effect B, and the degrees of freedom for the interaction effect. Okay, so again, degrees of freedom for A is 2, so let's just write this again. 26 equals degrees of freedom for A is 2, plus degrees of freedom for B, that's also 2. 
the radius of freedom for a, uh, a the interaction effect of a and b is two plus two times two is four okay plus the degrees of freedom for error this is where you would like, sort of work it out uh, yourself what it would like a bit about a mental arithmetic there you would sort of see that would be 18 okay so that would be the total degrees of freedom there so I'll just write that in 18 okay so that's degrees of freedom for 2 ANOVA with uh, interaction uh, without interaction effects and with interaction effects